So humans are very adept at picking up on cultural vibes. Whenever you walk into a new business, you immediately get this like feel for what it's like to work there. Uh, that's the culture. Um, a really powerful example of this is I went to see the Sergata Familia in Barcelona this summer, which is this like beautiful cathedral. It's right in the middle of Barcelona and it's like outside is just chaotic and bustling and there's all these tourists and traffic and it's super noisy. And then you step inside and it's just like near silence. Everyone's kind of calm. Even the kids, like they're, they're not running around and jumping off the walls. They're just like staying close to their parents. And it's just, you walk into it and it's just the space just gives you this awe, this reverence where you just pick up on the vibes of the culture in there. Now, when I'm talking about cultural vibes, I'm not talking about magic. I'm not saying that there are actual these like cultural waves that travel through the air uh, that you know science can't detect and we just pick up as human beings. Um, that culture is communicated in concrete ways. We're non-consciously picking up on what's going on in the environment and adapting our behavior to that. Um, some of the ways that that vibe is communicated, some of the concrete ways, is through symbols and artifacts, rites and rituals, stories and legends, and language and communication. We'll start out talking about by symbols and artifacts. Symbols and artifacts are physical objects that convey meaning. Symbols and artifacts are physical objects that convey meaning. Money is a really good example of artifacts. So um, we got the $20 bill with Andrew Jackson here. Uh, he was put on at a time when that represented some of the values of, that America was felt that, that our values aligned with Andrew Jackson, right? Recently, there's been talk about putting Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. Um, and the question is, you know, what do we value as a culture? Who do we want to represent as a role model? Um, to other people in our culture. And so it's just a picture, it's just a dollar bill, and yet we use it to communicate our cultural values. A uh, great example of this from business is Elon Musk sent his Tesla to Mars. Um, there was no reasonable reason to do that. There was no financial one. In fact, it was quite expensive. And yet he did it as a symbol. Like this is what Tesla stands for. This is what SpaceX stands for. That we're doing things that no one have, has done before. That we are the future. We're ambitious. Um, it was a symbol of that. Other uh, examples of symbols and organizations are things like how employees dress. So uh, these are two pictures. The one on the top is from the Google website showing off Google employees. You can see they're all wearing t-shirts. In fact, they're at Pride and they're wearing uh, Pride t-shirts with droids uh, waving Pride flags. And it's all like very casual, very happy, diversity. Then you look at uh, the picture on the bottom and that's from the Price Waterhouse or PwC uh, website. And you see a completely different vibe, right? That everyone is very formal. These are like formal headshots. Everyone is dressed well. Um, and it tells you something about the cultures of those organizations. Office layouts are another example of organizational artifacts. Picture on the top is the Patagonia headquarters in my hometown of Ventura, California. Uh, you can see it's a really open layout. Um, everyone works together. It's collaborative. Uh, this woman, again, looking at dress, this woman's wearing blue jeans and rainbow sandals. Um, these things communicate uh, that, that they have a relatively flat organization. They value equality and the contributions of everyone. Compared to, say, an organization where everyone has their own cubicle, so it's not collaborative, everyone's working on their own task. The boss probably has their office in a corner where they're separated from everyone. It's very top down. Um, so layouts communicate culture as well. Logos are another example of organizational symbols. So this is the Amazon logo. Uh, you've probably noticed the smiling face, but you may not have noticed that it's also an arrow pointing from A to Z because Amazon has everything from A to Z. That's what their culture values, right? That we are going to be the place where people go to for anything they need. So we can see culture through symbols and artifacts. We can also see it through rites and rituals. 
Rites and rituals are planned, formal social interaction. So all the holidays in the United States, right? Fourth of July, you go see the fireworks, Easter, you go egg hunting, these planned out where it's like, hey, this is the thing that you are supposed to do. That's what we mean by a rite or a ritual. Uh, when I was in grad school, we would always go out for drinks if someone successfully uh, proposed or defended their thesis or dissertation, which with 30 people in the program all proposing theses and dissertations, it, it was a lot of drinking. But uh, it was a way of showing our culture that like, hey, we're supportive of each other, we celebrate our wins, uh, uh, work hard, play hard culture. And that was communicated through this ritual of celebrating those things um, by going out and getting drinks. <laughs> 